Hey, good morning. This is Diary of a Coach, episode 28. It's a lovely day. You know that some people, the only smart devices they know how to use is their phone. A coach would have a brief, say a, con a, a client contacts you and the only way you can sign a contract is to send a WhatsApp message or send an email on your smartphone. Sometimes people tell me because my background is computer science that I have an edge that that is why I have a head start when it comes to utilization of devices. I will not argue. I think that's correct. I have an easier head start because I come from a computer science background. However, in this age and time, a coach must be able to use smart devices. So the title of episode 28 says, learn to use a computer and other smart devices. Learn to use a computer and other smart devices. I mean, let me ask you, if you were to write you know, like, like on this Wednesday, this coming Wednesday, I'm going to be teaching a course on how to develop coaching content and coaching course. <clears throat> so if you were to develop a coaching course, how would you put together your content? If I gave you a laptop now as a coach, as a practicing coach, would you be able to sit down and use any of the word processing applications and develop a comprehensive document? Would you be able to type a document, copy from an external source, paste in your word processor, format it, align it, arrange it, and print it? Are you able to do that? Do you know how to use a printer? Have you touched a printer before? Can you, can you, can you manage a printing issue? Let's say you are printing a document and there is a jam. Can you ordinarily... At the first level try to even decipher what went wrong let's say you want to print and the printer is not responding are you able to determine which printer am i printing to why is it not responding are you able to save documents from one format to the other for instance from word or powerpoint or excel to pdf are you able to transfer documents from one drive to another drive from one folder to another folder these are very basic things that you should learn. You know why? <clears throat> Somebody like me now, I have staff. I can say, well, anything, I can delegate my staff to do it. Oh, so, so, so person, please help me do this. Oh, so, so, person, please help me do this. While I'm here, I can, I can hire anybody, pay anybody to do it for me, you know, right? But guess what? When I travel outside the country and I'm alone, where are you going to? How are you going to do this? If, for instance, you are dealing with extreme time zones, let's say you travel to Japan or you travel to Australia or you travel to Canada, where the time zones are in excess of 7, 8, 10, 12 hours, how are you going to manage the time zones when you have to attend to urgent documentation? So, the need to understand and learn how to use smart devices is very essential. You, as a coach, should be able to sit down and use a computer effortlessly. Let me even ask you, do you have a laptop? Do you have a computer? Do you have a device that is a word processing device that is not your mobile phone? You know, in this age and time of so many apps, there are invoices online, there are receipts online, there is everything in the cloud, accounting system online, downloadable documents that are templates you can just edit and just format and convert to pdf on your mobile phone pa, 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 and you're gone smart options i agree very true but when the chips are down can you use your computer to create a document can you use your computer to create correspondences can you use your computer to do magic are you able to use powerpoint are you able to use Canva? Are you able to use different applications on a computer? This, you see, this episode is so basic and so trivial. 
it looks like, well, why do I need a computer? <laughs> I can say categorically that when the chips are down, your need to use basic tools will be tested. The proficiency of a coach is also tested in the ability to use as many devices as possible. So while you <clears throat> may be you know, enjoying the dispensation of mobile technology and mobile phones and tabs and all these smart devices, please don't forget, use a computer. Learn how to use a computer. Learn how to understand folder structure in a computer. If I came to your computer now, what is the, what is the shape of the desktop? Some people's desktop, eh, you'll be lost inside. It's crazy confusing. Everything is on the desktop. Can you learn folder structure? How to create folders for different projects and different clientele and different purposes? And saving documents in a folder structure? Can you determine how to aggregate and segment data and put them in different structures that makes it understandable? These are very basic things that helps you with decluttering. So a good coach should be able to one use a computer well the hardware itself two learn to use computer applications on the computer three learn to create folder structures and save your documentation properly a typical example i honestly don't agree that you should send agreement uh, contracts coaching contracts on a mobile phone like typing plain or flat text i don't think you should i think you should have an agreement in a word processing document like Word that you can edit and save as the client name and save a PDF copy and email a PDF copy to the client. All correspondences, for instance, should be PDF. These are things you should be able to do on a computer, not on a mobile phone. Yeah, I know you may want to use smart invoices and smart receipts on the internet but there is wisdom in saving copies on your laptop because there are times when you go to places where there is no internet and you may need to reproduce an evidence for instance your reports for client cases you may want to have it on your laptop as much as the internet is available and a smart option please don't forget that the laptop or your computer is a proper formal approach that you should not discard so if you if you know this is very important to you please take this advice get a computer use a computer learn using a computer learn applications on computers learn how to manipulate folders learn how to print learn how to convert documents learn how to use the internet on the computer learn how to attach documents on the computer this sounds very basic but I can tell you many coaches don't know how to do this. And I have encountered many of them. So this is my direct message to you. Learn to master the use of a computer. A good coach should know how to use a computer. I hope this helps you. My name is Sam Obafemi. This is Diary of a Coach, episode 28. And the title is Learn to Use a Computer. Very basic topic, but very, very important topic. If this, if this has made any sense to you, please be kind and share it. Happy Sunday. Go on and enjoy yourself. Don't forget, if you're in Abuja this Wednesday, 1st of May, which is Workers' Day or Labor Day, as you choose to call it, I will be hosting you to a five-hour class where you're going to you know, learn how to develop a course curriculum, a course outline, and how to use a computer. I will use my, I will show you how to, how I structure my computer folders. And I will show you how to do coaching. I'm very passionate about this topic. And so I want to show you how to do it this Wednesday. If you know you will not be in Abuja, you can sign up and get the manual. It will be sent to you in hard copy wherever you are within Nigeria. And there will also be the audio recording that we will send to you on a cd anywhere in nigeria if you are outside nigeria you can get the e-copy of the manual and a link to download the audio of the class holding this wednesday 
absolutely available for everybody so if you know you're a coach you're a trainer you're a consultant you're a therapist you're a hr manager you're anything that has to do with people this is a class for you there are exactly six slots left so if you can pay up and sign up right now you will get everything you need so drop a comment in the comment section and you will be contacted immediately Thank you for watching my video. Shagun Oshidipe. I don't come back from church. <laughs> Soma Kipa, good to see you. Stella, good to see you. Okeke Henry Ugo, good to see you. Laide, good to see you, my brother. Yes, thanks for your comments. Nson said, I was going to send a form to a client through my smartphone on Monday. Thank you for this message. It's fantastic. Please, as much as it's okay to be smart, let us also be very careful about being traditional computers are very important in all our transactions always have a copy of anything you do on your computer because there may not be internet everywhere you go and you may need to have access to your documentation learn to use a computer i'm out thank you and god bless you please don't forget to share this video i really would love to have you share this video on episode 30 which is two episodes away i'm going to give a copy of my new book but what do i know one copy to a lucky winner so on episode 30 we'll know how to win a copy of my new book but what do i know thank you and have a wonderful sunday bye